not used to this wet stuff coming out of the sky and uh, having to wear coats and trousers. But we're off on a walk today, 10 miles into Matlock. We're stopping at Pack Horse Farm this weekend. Adult only. No kids. Dogs on leads. Very peaceful. The approach down here is a bit narrow. Wouldn't like to meet something big coming the other way. But all in all, we like it. Firstly, we're heading to a place called Lumsdale Falls. Never been there before, but saw it on the internet and it looks fab. So hopefully we can find it. Oh, this is nice. Let's go and explore. Soup. Not fancy, it. Give him a dash of beer can. Beer can. Not bacon. Beer can. <laughs> Very popular spot for a bit of photography. I can understand why. Life around here too. Hello Michelle. Looks like we're approaching the end of Plumsdale Falls. It's been brilliant, loved it here. of today's adventure, high tour, grounds. Wow. And we're looking for something called Giddy Edge. Time to take in the first view. Still nice, even in the rain. Riber Castle over there. Our walk takes us back past that later on. Ground. and over that way is Matlock Bath which is where we're heading to now hopefully to get a coffee too early for beer wow that's high that's a fair drop you can see the cable cars just there taking people up to the heights of Abraham when you go down a cave Nice. So this is Giddy Edge. Have a guess why they call it Giddy Edge. So this is where you get into it. I will just walk through it. So it's a, a handy handrail if you need it. Perfectly safe. He says that before dropping off. Recommend anybody take a walk around here. It's a nice little bit of exposure just to get used to walking on the edge of cliffs. But that's why it's called Giddy Edge. You got a way to put your feet. You don't want to stumble up here. Nice spot for a picnic if the sun was shining. There's only kind of really kind of that one corner where you get a feeling of exposure. So do it. Takes about 30 seconds to walk through it, not very far. 
We've taken children around here before, but you've got to make sure they hold on. It's a one-way system, just for safety. So you've got to find the right way into it. What are you doing? <laughs> Caught you. Heading down now into Matlock Bath. Here we are, Matlock Bath. Ready to go for coffee. Who's there? Well, this looks really good. <laughs> Americano smoothie and a small wedge of salted caramel chocolate cake. <laughs> Two forks. We won't need this one then. <laughs> well, that was very nice. I don't really recommend the cakes in there. Where are we, Michelle? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? That little bath. It's a long tunnel. <laughs> Separated at birth. What it used to look like many years ago, and now rather than being a swimming pool, it's a big fish tank. You can see the bench up there where the people are standing. Oh, that was worth the money, wasn't it? Three pound thirty for see the fish and some holograms. Yeah, that's quite good. Do here and see. Can't believe it. Every time we can start walking, there's something to distract us and go and look at. Really great view of Matlock. Eleven point two miles, five hours forty. Going to uh, chill out and then head out tonight to see Matlock Illuminations. So we're back in the warmth of Katie. Got my caramel latte. Oh. And a cup of strong tea. And there's a bit of a theme going as well. <laughs> Got some more salted caramel matchmakers, so might have a few of those. <laughs> Way to see the fireworks. Michelle's answering all the posts on Facebook. <laughs> right. Looks a bit different now to what it did earlier. Very nice. <laughs> Nearly there. You're doing well at containing your excitement. <laughs> I do like it. <laughs> Fireworks and chips to finish the fight. <laughs> 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 <laughs>